In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to set up a project for Betasim simulation for condensation inside a steam ejector. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. Now, since we're going to model the condensation in this project, we're going to need to enable the energy equation in order to calculate the heat transfer and calculate the temperature distribution inside our model. Also, to solve the turbulent fluid equation, we double click on the viscous button and then in the appeared window, we select realizable K epsilon model since this model is more accurate than the standard form. And then under the near ball treatment, you can see we have selected the standard ball functions which are auxiliary functions which help us to better model the boundary layer flow near the walls and also under the options you can see we have enabled the compressibility effect to better model the compressible flow that passes inside our model. Now in the next step, if you double click on the boundary conditions button, in the middle part of the software window you will see a new part will appear. If you click on inlet number 1, you will see the type of this boundary is defined as pressure inlet. By clicking on edit button, you can adjust the settings related to this boundary. And then finally if you click on each of these two vowel boundaries and then click on edit button, in the appeared window under the momentum tab you will see a stationary vowel motion along with no slip shear condition are defined. So if you click on the thermal tab, you can see heat flux thermal condition is defined and the value of heat flux applied over this wall is equal to 0 watt per meter squared, which means that the walls in this project are adiabatic. Next, if you double click on the method, you will see that we have selected implicit type of formulation. Also, we have selected AUSM as our flux type solver. Uh, AUSM solver has this option to be better at modeling shock waves or sudden changes in pressure. Also under the spatial discretization section, you can see the discretization type for our different parameters and you can select between the options of second order open, first order open or the other options available. After double clicking on the controls button, a new window will appear showing you different values for current number and under relaxation factors. The current number is a factor for how fast we are progressing in our simulation process. And for problems with high nonlinearity, we should decrease this current number. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. In the appeared window under the contours of section, you can select your desired variable to extract its graphical data. For example, as you can see in this slide, we are going to select the pressure as our variable. Then by clicking on save or display button, the software will show us this contour. Now in this slide, you can see the pressure distribution inside our computational domain. Also, you can see that at the inlet number one boundary, the pressure has clearly a higher value in comparison with other sections, which is due to the higher gauge pressure that we had defined over it. Also, in order to extract another contour, in the same window, you just have to change the contours of section, for example, from pressure to velocity. And then, just like the previous step, by clicking on Save or Display button, the software will show you the new contour.
And now in this slide, you can see the velocity distribution inside our computational domain. Now you can see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain. And finally, in this slide, you can see the liquid fraction contour. Also, you can see that the condensation process has taken place. Finally, a summary of the settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented in this slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.